that people are not listening to you, stop talking to them. That is the best piece of advice that I can give you. And if you stop talking to people who aren't listening to you and start watching them instead, they will tell you what they're up to. But so if you have things to say, say them, but you find people that will listen, talk to them. The ones who aren't listening, pull back because you're devaluing what you have to say by offering it to an audience that does nothing but reject it. And that's a good guideline to life in general. So pull back. When the eagle spreads its wings, it's something to behold. It was built to soar, to fly. It was built to withstand storms so that when the storm comes and other birds run for shelter, the eagle runs into the storm and uses the storm to lift it up so that it can fly above the storm. You know you're an eagle when you ran into a storm that you thought was going to kill you and instead of it killing you, it lifted you higher than you've ever been lifted before. It's a sure sign you're an eagle. Can you hear me tonight? What you need is another eagle with wings and dreams and visions and concepts who's not jealous of you who's not intimidated by you who's not fighting you you know that it's an eagle when they're not jealous of you you know it's another eagle when they can pray for you and help you to get to the next level it's only the chickens that are down on the ground talking about everybody so don't be frustrated when you see the chickens flapping up and falling down because at this stage in your life it's time for you to be synergistic with other eagles when you're an eagle you're meant to rise up we don't rise up when everything's going well we rise up regardless you're trained to rise up on your worst day that's who you are in the worst of circumstances no place for whining complaining, being anxious, being negative, it's totally unnecessary. Eagles live on another level. Eagles think on another level. Eagles dream on another level. Eagles function on another level. If you had somebody reject you, leave you, stop crying about it. It was just a chicken. All your circumstances may say you'll never fly. You don't have the training, the experience. Thoughts will tell you you'll always be grounded. You know, get ready. Your wings are coming. Where you are is not permanent. God did not create you to crawl, to go through life lonely, struggling. He created you to soar, to take new ground, to go further than you thought possible. Now quit being discouraged by what you see. What you see is subject to change. You don't know what God is up to. You don't know what he's doing behind the scenes. No one can live beyond the limits of their belief. So if you want to live beyond what you're living now, you have to change your belief system. The secret to anyone rising is what happens in their belief system. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. That's how leaders are born. When a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, gets its wings, it doesn't just have the ability to crawl faster, just be better at what it could already do. It comes into a whole new dimension from crawling to flying. When you get your wings, you're not going to just be better at what you can do right now. God is going to catapult you into a new dimension, into favor that you haven't seen. Things are going to happen sooner than you thought. Should have taken you a lifetime to pay your house off, but you did it in a fraction of the time. What happened? You went from crawling to flying. You got your wings. You're going to discover gifts, talents, creativity that you didn't know you had. Where you think, where did this come from? You got your wings. That's God taking you places that you could never go.